so we're all baited up. Gunner's got just bait. He's running chunky jig skirts on his baits, as he did yesterday, which was a successful day. And me too. Size two hooks. I've got a falcon this morning, 60 gram. And we're good to go. It's a eight knot one, and it's going to drop to about five. A few people out here already. Kitaki raft down here, and a few guys out in kayaks already out. I think we're here out this way, son. This uh, point over here, there's actually a bit of a worm bed. You can see someone's out in a kayak already out there. Beautiful over there, that's where we'll go. We'll tear into it. There's rays out here, beautiful. A few fish jumping. There's a few bait fish jumping around here, so that indicates there might be some kawai in close. There's a contiki out there too. Yeah, they get quite far, don't they? What does it feel like, son? So Yoda's already on with some little snapper already, eh? Little wee snapper. Oh yeah, little panty. I reckon you put the first one back, son. Mouldy tradition. Respect to the sea, it's probably it's legal fish, be 26, 27, but put him back and uh, hopefully that brings us good luck. You want to back on again? Those hula skirts are going well, son. Oh, it's car well, keep that, good going. Yeah, keep that one, nice. A whole bunch of tiny fish followed the up when I was checking them as well. well. That's good. So we've got about an eight knot wind blowing. It's supposed to drop to five, four later on. We're only out here for a couple of hours because I'm going to go and have lunch with my mate Arb and Pete. But uh, I think we'll catch some fish. He's two at two on the board and old dad still nothing as usual. There's a pattern there, eh? There's a pattern there. Just a wee pan fish. I'll keep that. Stick my last first one to keep. Uh, they're only small out here today, aren't they? Do you want the Jimmy stick? We got a knife here. Okay, no. He needs a knife. Uh, he's catching all the fish this morning. How's it feel, son? Not too big? Not too big. Oh, yeah. Snapper. Little snapper? Another patty? Yeah. Awesome some yeah. going, son. Hold on. Now yeah, we're on now. It might be a bit bigger, that one, son. Yeah, it might be a little bit bigger. Yeah, not a bad penny. It's a keeper. It's definitely a keeper. Yeah, maybe like 30. Probably 30. 34. Here in the Challenger area, these pan sized fish uh, we're taking, they're uh, around the 30 centimetres. We're allowed to take them down to 25 centimetres here because the fish are a lot smaller than other places around New Zealand. But also there's a lot of, the number of stocks are good right now, plenty of them. And they're actually a perfect sized fish to go into the pan. That's what we call them panties. Uh, these ones that we're catching today are around the 30. Uh, you could probably, I mean you can, you can keep 25, but we don't, we're putting the 25s back. But they're not getting much bigger than that, so that's why we're taking these ones. Some of you might be thinking, well that's too small still, but if we don't take these, we're taking no fish home, because they're all about that size there, which is pan sized fish. Right, I'm going to spike that one and uh, stick them in the bin. Got the ice in here. Yeah, it's a fat fish, that one. Yeah, it's about a 30. Good, thanks, son. Back into it. Yeah, beauty. See, yeah, uh, probably the biggest cow white today. Get in the fucking boat. <laughs> he's hooked through his eye. How did he manage to do that? Just about uh, icky yourself, mate. Oh, that's a goodie. Yeah, look at that, son. Yeah, that's a beauty. <laughs> oh, that could be the biggest one today. That's playing good. Oh, playing beautifully. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Nice big snapper, son. 
That's the biggest one today, easy. That's a good one. That'll go like 36, 37, that's a cracker. Shit. Stay on the boat. What's that, son? You got one on that one there too, have you? What are you hooked into? I don't know. There's something big, isn't it? Well, you you want to set that rod up and get ready to release if you caught something massive. What do you reckon? I don't know. It's not like it's at a shark, is it? Maybe. It's playing differently to a snapper. Push that line, you ain't tangled around it. Jesus, son! Hold on, you got some big there, boy. You want to release that? Do um, you want to release from me, eh? Uh, should be okay. Should be okay. You know, he's got oh. something. What is it? Yeah. It's a shark. It's a rig. It's a rig. Oh, nice going. Nice going. Um, uh, maybe I will release. Yeah, release, son. Release. And uh, don't hold your rod ho halfway up. You'll snap it. Yeah. Yep. Is your, um, is your uh, yeah, paddles, paddles tied to you? Okay. In the boat. <laughs> You're still tied to me, son. That's a good rig. Yeah. What'd you catch it on, bait? Bait, yeah. Oh, man. That's a beauty. Holy shit, that's a cracker, man. That's the best one we've ever caught. I can't with my leg. It's huge. Jeez. Look at the size of that. <laughs> He's gonna bite your old fella. <laughs> Look at the size of this. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's a beauty. That's a good size. That's that's a lot of tucker there, man. Are you to well to land that in there, eh? Absolutely. Um we wanna probably uh, cut its head just there. Get your knife. Can you hold it? Yep. Make sure you feel your line. So you want to sever right through there. Go in there and cut right down so you can sever the brain from the rest of it. Yeah, right through, that's it. He didn't like that much, did he? That'll quieten him down a bit. Cut right through, good. That's all the nerves are cut. Sliced right over to the side too. Good going. So what we'll do is we'll trunk that when we get back on the land now. We'll, we'll call that day's fishing, son. Yeah. That's, that's weird enough fish. Yeah. That's good going. We'll trunk it when we get back up. That's good. Is that your first rig? Yeah, I think so. Good going. That's a very, it's a first for us out here, catching a rig out here, eh? Bloody cracker. Nice going. Happy days. Oh well, we'll anchor up and go back in some. We've got enough fish. <laughs> cool. A white snapper. Trevelli. First time caught trevally out in a while, and rig. We caught plenty of fish, son. The bin's not full, but hey, I'd say if you added that um, big shark you got there. Oh, that's a beautiful rig. It's a beautiful rig. Nice going. It's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah. Plenty of flesh in that. See, there's no boner, it's all cartilage. I'll just paddle back in. I'm still tying my junkie jig. Never know, I might get a lucky car wash to make it on the way home. So one bin full of fish. As these guys you icky them, they ain't die. Mmm, smells good. So what sort are you using, son? I'm not sure. Just a random sort of out of that box. Oh manuka. Oh man, that looks good. So the trick is not to overdo it. That looks great. Um, how long's it been so far? I'm not actually sure. So some's got honey on and some's got salt and honey. Um, some got honey and then some's got no honey. So some's just got salt. Yeah. Keto. Wow, looks good. There's a few different like flavoured mixes. You can't be too far off doing, eh? How long's it been in there for? Probably like 10, 15. Oh yeah. So those are the wings which often get wasted and thrown away. Like that and. The fillets of the kahawai. It almost looks like snapper, son. Kahawai. Yeah, I believe you. You know what it is. 
I think it's time to do a taste test. Yeah. I'm break a piece off and try one. Check that one at the end there, that'll be good to try. Pluck it out and see what it tastes like. It'll be hot. Break it, does it look? Oh, that's, that's cooked, son. That's yeah, done. That's yeah. We can take them out, take the hop, taste it and see what it's like. How was mm. it? Tastes pretty good. Is that with the honey or is that just a straight salt? It's without honey. Can I try some? Yep. It's cooked. Bone. Is there a bone? <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. Shit, yeah. Mmm. Oh, man. It's good. You can turn it off. Take the rack out because otherwise it's um, overcooked. You don't want it to cook anymore. It's perfect. It's juicy. It's not too dry. Mmm. Yeah, it's a good tool. It's a cardboard. It's pretty good. Mmm. wings and you've scaled all the fish as well so the scales are still on there are they okay that's okay because you can actually smoke them with the scales on if you smoke them with the scales on it stops the fish actually sticking to the the grid so it acts as a barrier between it it just means you can't eat the, the scales obviously mm. Even though there's a few bones around the wings, it's a really uh, fatty, nice, delicious part of the fish. The most tasteful part of a fish is actually the eyes, is where the most flavour is. And the eyes contain a lot of fats that you can't get in other stuff. There's two types of fats that are really good for you. This is good. It's just with salt, it's delicious, eh? I might have to try one with honey on. with the honey. Yeah, too sweet for me, eh, still. I like it just with salt. I'll let you have that one some. Yep, too sweet. I'll just stick to the salted, salted fish. I feel that kawaii is one of the best fish for sashimi. People talk about bluefin tuna, and it's supposedly the best fish for sashimi in the world, but to be honest, I enjoy the kawaii better. great anyway that's our catch and cook video today we'll be uh, battering the big rig he caught it's a beautiful rig he's fitted it all up he trunked it when we got it home and now we're enjoying some straight smoked kahawai these smokers are cheap to buy at the warehouse you could make one yourself but I couldn't make one cheaper thanks for watching guys Good luck with your own fishing and harvesting, cooking, however you're doing it outdoors. Be good, can't be good, be careful and see you in the next video. Mm. There's something else in there you put in there. Some other spice, not just salt. Mm. What yeah, else is that? Got, I did a couple of different ones. One's got salt. Mm -hmm. um, it's delicious. And one's got salt and pepper and then one's got like Cajun seasoning on it. Cajun seasoning. Good old Cajun season, that's delicious. And then there's another one that's got just like a smoked salt. Oh, yep. Yummy.